what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, it's gonna be short and sweet. I'm gonna be talking about five techniques that I've been adding into my lower body routine. Since I've added these techniques into my routine, I personally feel like I have not only seen, but felt the gains, okay girl? I, it's different, I like it, but these are just additives, okay? I'm not exactly gonna be going into like what specific exercises to do. If you wanna see that, I got my top 10 booty exercises. I'll leave it up there. These are just techniques you can throw on in to your leg day, add it right into uh, your normal routine, okay? Before I begin this video, please do subscribe because I make new videos every single week. So let's get into it. Taking you into the gym, I'm gonna talk about why I do what I do, these five techniques. So technique number one, I'm gonna start with the most simple one that I'm sure a lot of you are aware of and probably use in your routine, but nevertheless, I'm gonna mention it. Resistance bands. Resistance bands, so simple, throw them in your bag, easy to use. Guys, since I've been putting them into my lower body routine, I have felt such a difference. They are perfect for glute activation, just to get your, your glutes warmed up if you're gonna be uh, smashing those glutes that day. Out of every single technique that I do, pulses are one that are just, they're completely underrated, and if you're not adding them into your booty routine, girlfriend, what are you doing? So what's great about pulses is that your muscles are literally constantly being engaged. So there's no just letting go of the weight, less tension. This is just a constant stimulation that's gonna really burn and tear up your entire lower body, okay? I believe that if you wanna get the most out of your lower body workouts, add in some pulses, okay? You could do this with squats, just keep your form straight, keep it all, you know, keep it all 100 and pulse it out, baby. Pulse lunges are another really good one. Oof. Okay, you're gonna hurt real fast, but it's a good hurt. You want that kind of hurt. That's how you get those gains. And that's how you tone up, okay? You can do pulses, um, weighted or not weighted, totally your call, either way, you will feel the burn. But I do like um, just adding in a plate or a dumbbell, even a barbell, whatever floats your boat, girl, as long as you pulsing. Okay guys, third technique is similar to the second one, but it's different holds you actually hold the position okay so if you're squatting it out you're gonna squat down and just hold it there baby girl it's almost like wall sits you know where you're just like sitting up against the wall and you just hold it there you okay you don't know what burn is until you hold yourself so basically during a hold it's minimal to no movement at all you are at constant high tension and this is great a lot of people do it with planks um, different kind of core exercises. You could do it with even, you know, shoulders. You could just hold the weight out. But uh, yeah, I've been doing it a lot with lower body and it just, it rips me up. <laughs> this is a form of static exercises. So essentially it's helping build your muscle endurance because your muscles are fatiguing during this practice much quicker than they normally would. So my absolute favorite hold exercise is definitely uh, bridges. I feel it the most, guys. When I do my standard bridges, I love it, but when I do holds with bridges, and especially if I have a weight on top of me, like a plate, oh my God, help me. Okay guys, so technique number four is pyramid sets. So you're basically working your way up like a pyramid. So you're gonna just keep adding, 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 adding weight until you hit that max weight, and then you're gonna take a little bit of weight away and work yourself down like that. So the point with pyramid sets and what's really good about them is that it really helps you to move past your plateau, okay? So if you feel like you can't go heavier with weight, pyramid sets are kind of like a guide for you just to keep going heavier and heavier and grow your muscles stronger because they're gonna fatigue a lot faster when you go through all these different stages of weight. Um, so it's really gonna help develop those muscles, get them bigger, and then the next time you go to do your pyramid set, you're gonna probably, once you're fully, you know, healed up, you're probably gonna end up exceeding that weight. And that's how you grow your muscles, that's how you help with muscle endurance. And it is perfectly normal to go lower reps with the higher the weight that you go. That's actually very good to do that. Okay guys, last but not least, I told you this would be short and sweet today. Technique number five is to add elevation. Okay, so what I like to use for this are those step platforms, I'm sure you can find them at your gym. You can stack them up 
to whatever height that you're comfortable with. So I usually put maybe two, three if I'm feeling a little daring. I absolutely love doing sumo squats on these babies because what you're gonna be able to do with this is increase your range of motion and actually be able to move the weight past your body. So in this clip, I'm gonna do an up close and you're gonna be able to see what I'm talking about here. You normally wouldn't be able to do this just standing on a normal ground, but when you elevate your legs, you're just kind of being able to sit down into the squat better and again, increase your range of motion. And honestly, it really works on your flexibility as well. You can do the same thing with a lunge. That's another one I really like to do, keeping your back foot elevated on the platforms. And then you're really sinking low into that lunge and you're honestly hitting certain muscles like your under booty muscles normally wouldn't hit with a standard very like constricted type of lunge only reason why i went with one platform in this video for the sumo squat is because these particular platforms that i was using were actually not stackable believe it or not okay i wasn't happy about that um but yeah even doing glute bridges is awesome because you're angling your body differently than it normally would just being on a flat surface. So you're definitely targeting different muscles and guys, adding this into your routine, something simple like this is really going to just add that range. You're going to you're going to hit new dimensions of your body. You're going to work different areas that you normally wouldn't and it's a great way to just add it in and divvy up your workouts and give you more of a variety because honestly if there's anything i've learned when it comes to working out and really trying to um progress and get those gains and get the tone going the key to that is variety okay believe it if you're doing the same thing over and over again you will hit that plateau okay girlfriend i don't want you hitting that plateau it's not fun it's boring Nobody likes it. So yeah, guys, that was it. Those were my five techniques that I personally feel have helped me transform my booty, my whole lower body in general. I'm so happy I got to share them with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do give it a thumbs up, okay? And definitely don't forget to subscribe because I make new videos just like this every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.